Most property managers have probably heard of the term apartment guarantor and may request one from the applicant before they can get a new apartment. Whether you're in New York City or Miami or basically anywhere else, this person guarantees the lease and promises that if the tenant falls behind on payments, they are responsible. Hi everyone, my name is Santiago Marino. I'm a content creator for Doorloop. And today, we're going to answer two very important questions. What is a guarantor on a lease? And why do landlords prefer one? But before we get started, let me remind you that I work for Doorloop and I am not an attorney. I cannot give you any legal advice or financial advice or basically any kind of advice. However, there is one piece of advice I do want to give you, which is to like this video and share it with your friends. And of course, subscribe to our channel if you haven't done so already. In a sense, a guarantor is a co-signer for the apartment. And most landlords definitely like the idea of this because there aren't really many drawbacks for the property owner or manager. What is a lease guarantor? A guarantor simply guarantees the lease in case the tenant doesn't qualify on their own for a rental property. This may be because the tenant has low income or because their credit score is not that great. Overall, the guarantor is a co-signer and must assume financial responsibility if the person or tenant cannot pay. Landlords can also require a guarantor for reasons other than income or credit history. It may be because the potential tenant might have irregular income or employment, or perhaps a lot of credit activity, or maybe they have negative remarks from previous landlords. Regardless, a tenant can ask someone to co-sign the lease agreement. They just need to have superior credentials, such as double the required income and a great credit score. Along with that, they must fill out the application, have their credit pooled, provide documentation on income, and sign the lease. Generally, a guarantor service offers financial stability to the tenant and ensures that the landlord has someone else legally responsible. This is a third-party service that can help both the landlord and the tenant. Many times, people who want their dream home must have a guarantor at the lease signing to get the financial proof necessary. When does your tenant require a guarantor? If your tenant has a bad credit history or no credit at all, bringing in a guarantor is crucial for them to get that rental property, whether it's an apartment or a house or whatever it is. Another situation where you may tell the tenant that they need a guarantor is if they don't make about 40 times their monthly rent a year. Sometimes a property manager can ask for a guarantor if the tenant is just shy of the traditional qualification standards. Other times they might meet them, but there may still be something in their profile that causes doubt in your mind. That could include old collections on their credit report, income fluctuations each year, and more. Another point is that many people during the apartment hunting process are young and may have short or no credit history, or they could be foreign nationals or self-employed with the same situation. So even though a tenant may have poor credit, you don't have to turn them away. Co-signers can help with the security deposit and can provide proof of a steady income. Can anyone be a guarantor for monthly rent? A lease guarantor can be virtually anyone willing to co-sign the lease. That said, some landlords require that the guarantor be a family member or a close friend. In other words, you don't want the tenant to use a casual acquaintance that they barely know because they will be equally responsible for the rent. Usually, most guarantors are parents or another type of guardian figure. Same with foreigners who often find relatives who live in the US to meet the financial requirements. If that's not possible, potential tenants could get third-party co-signers. Typically, you should ask that the guarantor be local or in-state, but it's completely up to you and your particular situation. Just make sure that the guarantor isn't out of the country with no credit or finances in the US. Who qualifies as a guarantor? To become a co-signer on the lease, the guarantor needs to make roughly 80 times the monthly rent a year. They also need to have a good credit score and must meet the income requirement. So, for example, if you charge a monthly rent of $2,000 a month, the guarantor must prove that they earn at least $160,000 per year. The reason that landlords want to go with the 80 times instead of 40 times the requirement is that the guarantor has to prove that they can cover the tenant's rent 
while managing their own financial responsibilities. Now, you certainly have a say in the amount, which can be up to 90 times the rent. It depends on your preferences. What credit history does the guarantor require? Both guarantors and tenants must agree to a background check and a credit check. They should also provide appropriate documentation to prove their income. Overall, the guarantor is applying for the apartment and must fill out an application, just like the tenant. That being said, a guarantor needs good credit and most landlords require them to be in the excellent range, which is 750 or higher. However, each landlord is different. So you should make a note of the requirements on your lease application to ensure that everyone is on the same page. Landlords are normally aware that people with great credit don't take chances by not paying their bills. So this can give you peace of mind and definitely take the pressure off of you. What information must the guarantor provide? When applying as a guarantor, they will need copies of their government issued ID, usually passport or driver's license, copies of the most recent tax returns, which is usually two years, copies of pay stubs, copies of monthly bank statements, normally about two months, and a letter from their employer stating position, duration, and salary. Also, keep in mind that with a guarantor lease, the tenant and the guarantor must pay separate application fees, which can range from $25 to $200. You should definitely have this information in your application for rent to avoid any kind of issues in the future. Is the guarantor put on the lease? Yes, the guarantor is put on the lease because they're vouching for the tenant. And usually, most landlords draw up a separate lease agreement for the cosigner. It's important to remember that the tenant cannot be handed the keys to their new apartment until they have covered the security deposit and the first month's rent, in most cases. Okay, now, even though some landlords allow the guarantor to sign electronically, it may be best to request a physical signature. And if they're out of state or in another country, you may need to require that the cosigner have their signature notarized and returned to you. Does the guarantor currently have a rental history? Yes, the guarantor now has a rental history and signing the lease is included in that. Therefore, if your tenant can't pay rent, you can demand it from the guarantor. That's why it's in your best interest to ensure that the second person is close friends with the tenant or a part of their immediate family. Overall, it will make life much easier for everyone. What happens if the tenant misses rent? If the tenant misses a rent payment, you can ask the guarantor to remit it. However, this is likely to be late, so the credit score for each could be affected, depending on how late it is. What happens if the guarantor can't pay rent? Each person's credit score would be affected, and as the landlord, you can take action against them. Typically, this is in the form of a late fee. However, if you regularly charge late fees and don't see any money, you could evict or sue the lease guarantor and tenant. If that happens, the guarantor is named in any collections and legal suits too. Regardless, credit histories for both parties would drop and creditors would see the collections and late payments. Can a person have more than one guarantor? In most cases, a landlord only wants to have one lease guarantor, but this might be impossible when there are multiple roommates. Technically, a single guarantor must be able to cover full rent for the apartment. However, the legality of that is a bit fuzzy because apartment shares are highly popular. Therefore, as the landlord, you can take multiple guarantors to cover each applicant's rent. What if the tenant doesn't have a guarantor? Sometimes the tenant doesn't have a family member or friend to rely on. Maybe all of their family members have bad credit or don't have enough money. In that case, the tenant might need to use a third-party service as their cosigner. It's important to consider that many states now have laws that say that the landlord cannot ask for extra security deposits or money up front. So make sure that you check with your local and state laws. Okay, so let's wrap it up. When potential tenants come to you for a rental apartment or a house and have bad credit or none at all, it could be best to consider a guarantor lease where another person co-signs the lease along with the tenant. Overall, the guarantor must pay the rent if the tenant can't. They sign a lease too, so they're on the hook and can be taken to court or sent to collections just like the tenant. 
This can be highly beneficial for landlords who worry about getting their payments on time. That's about it for today. Remember to check out DoorLoop's resources if you want to get access to a lot more videos and free templates. There's a link right there in the description where you can click. Okay, you'll be able to watch videos on topics such as can landlords charge tenants for carpet cleaning and damages or the top 10 most important landlord tenant laws to always remember. Okay, so that's about it for today. Remember, if you haven't done so already, go ahead and click that like button and subscribe to our channel. And if you think that this video may be beneficial for somebody else, go ahead and share it with them as well. And as always, happy renting.